The Liberty Used Bookstore Inventory Module is an add-on module which allows stores to easily scan ISBN numbers and to validate whether or not that book is saleable or whether they would like to carry that book in their store for sale to their customers. The module works rather uh, easily. It's very similar to the other uh, Liberty add-on modules that are available. We're going to double click on the inventory module icon. We're going to log in with our default user, RWD. The first thing it's going to do is it's going to ask you which account you would like to add books to. And in this case, we're just going to choose our retail vendor. You can choose any account in your system. The normal search options appear for you to find the particular account. But in this case, we're just going to check, uh, we're going to put books into our retail vendor account. A dialog then appears which allows you to start scanning the ISBN numbers immediately. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to take a couple of books and scan the ISBN numbers and we're going to get some information back from Amazon on whether we want to take the book or not. Make sure the cursor is in the ISBN number field and then take your barcode reader, the same barcode reader that you would use in your point of sale application and scan the ISBN number on the back of the book. So now Amazon returns us some interesting information about the Red Hat Linux Unleashed book. First we know that it's $39.99 is the list price, that the lowest new price out there right now is $2, and that the sales rank is 3,674,339, which is pretty low. It also gives us information about the book, such as the description. If we scroll down here a little bit, you'll get the author and the publisher as well. Now if I decide to take the book, I would click on the Take button, but I need to establish what I'm going to do as far as pricing for the book. So in this case, I know that it's $39.99, and I may say that I would like to price this book at $10. So I just put $10 into that field, and then I hit the Take button. So now that I've taken the book, it appears down here in our bottom grid. And then I can now move on to my second item or my second book. Put my cursor back up here into the ISBN field. Scan the ISBN barcode. And now it comes back with a book about the essentials of user interface design. Now this book is, has a list price of $29.99. Uh, the lowest new price out there at Amazon is $15. The sales rank is 815790 which is pretty good. So I'm going to establish a store price of, let's say, uh, 10 bucks again. And I'm going to take that book as well. Now deciding whether to take a book or not to take a book shouldn't really be determined by the person sitting at the counter. That's where the power of the this module comes into play. Under the Tools section, <coughs> you'll see a dialog is for settings. What it allows you to do is automatically establish a default price for the book. So I may want to say I'm going to default the price to 25 percent of the list price. Now because it's on consignment, I'm going to default the cost to zero percent because we're just going to consign all these books. If you decide to do purchase outright, you can actually just put a percentage, let's say I'm going to do it as 10% of the list price. But in this case, because we're doing consignment, we're going to leave it at 0% of the list price. Now there are some other evaluation condition options here. So for instance, you may want to say, I don't want to take a book if, I do want to take a book if the list price is greater than $10. I do not want to take a book or I do want to take a book, I should say, if the sales rank is less than, which means less is higher in this case, is less than, let's say, a million. So which means that any book outside the top million at Amazon uh, we're not going to take. All right, so I'm going to set that to say OK. Now what we can do then so let's see how the new filtering works when we add our, our next book. Make sure the cursor is in the ISBN field here. We're going to scan the book. 
and well there's good news we're gonna take this book well why are we gonna take this book it's because it passed two criteria levels it passed list price which was greater than ten dollars and the sales rank was under a million and in this case five hundred ninety seven thousand it also then established the store price of seven dollars and fifty cents which of course was twenty five percent of the uh, list price for the book so I'm just gonna hit the take button and now again it's added to our list of books that we are going to take from this consigner if you notice down here it, to it tells us that we've to taken a total of three books from this consigner I'm going to scan our last book into the system and see what it comes up for information see if we get anything different okay this is a book about the dimensions of transferring your business model um, and as you can see the list price passed but the sales rank did not pass so we're gonna say no thanks to this book and if you notice the system automatically highlights the button based on the filtering criteria so if, as long as there's one red mark it will not take the book of course you can override it by clicking yes I will take it but um, you know we really hope that you would use the system the way it's been designed and that is once you set your evaluation criteria you can take it or not take it so in this case we're not going to take this book and our totals at the bottom of the screen are now reflected that we're taking a total of three books and total rejected is one book now that we have taken all the books and scanned them all we can now finish and it will give us a little summary of what's happening here we can either pay the client now pay the client later which we'll probably do pay client later we can either print tags if you'd like to or print tags later once that's finished it goes on to going on to the next consigner account but let's see what happens now in Liberty so when we bring up Liberty now we can go to the vendor account that we were posting those books to and then click on the inventory tab you now see that there's three books have been added to the inventory and the price and so forth if you want to get to the detail of that item you'll notice that there is the UPC code which in this case is the ISBN number which can be used to scan at a point of sale it also adds the author information as an attribute the publisher and so forth and it also adds it to the category paperback books so it's a quite powerful tool and which makes entering books rather easy and that's about it for the demonstration we hope you enjoyed the demo and thank you very much for watching